Hello everyone, it's me Wheezy again. Did you watch the solar system video last year? Now I'm in Beijing. Want to join the adventure? Let's go! This is the Earth. We live here. The Earth is the third planet in the solar system. The Earth has five layers of atmosphere. There is the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and finally exosphere. The troposphere is where we all live. The stratosphere is where hot air balloons and airplanes fly. The mesosphere is where meteors get burned. The thermosphere is where the aurora borealis lives and it's the most hottest layer of the atmosphere. The exosphere is the most farthest layer of the atmosphere. It is where the satellite orbits the Earth. For more detail, I searched on Google. The Earth has a radius of 6,371 kilometers. The Earth has four layers, the crust, the mantle, inner core and outer core. The Earth's core is 5,200 degrees Celsius or 9,392 degrees Fahrenheit. Earth has a temperature of minus 89 degrees Celsius to 59 degrees Celsius. Wow! The Earth has two North Poles the North Pole and the South Pole. The Earth has a natural satellite, the Moon. The Moon has five phases, the Full Moon, the New Moon, Half Moon, Crescent, and the Quarter Moon. Wow! Let's move on to Mercury. Ooh, it's so hot here. Luckily, I have a heat-proof bubble. This is Mercury. It's the first planet in the solar system, and it's the fastest planet in the solar system. A year in Mercury takes 88 days. Wow! Can you guess how many days does it take for a year in Earth? If you guessed 365 days, you're almost correct. The correct answer is 365.25 days, and every four years, a year in Earth takes 366 days. Okay, back to Mercury. Mercury is made out of metal and rock. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system. Mercury has a diameter of 4,879.3 kilometers. It's so small. In the day, Mercury's temperature can get up to 430 degrees Celsius. And in the night, Mercury's temperature can get down to minus 180 degrees Celsius. So cold, so hot. Mercury is next to the sun. Oh yeah, the sun is in the center of the solar system. Eight planets orbit around it. Mercury doesn't have a moon. Oh yeah, the sun has a radius of 696,340 kilometers. The sun's surface has a temperature of 5,500 degrees Celsius. The core of the sun is approximately 15 million degrees Celsius. So hot. So, the sun is so important for the Earth. It gives us light. The sun's rays have vitamin D that is healthy for our bones. So, sun base in the morning. Let's continue to Venus. This is Venus. It's the second planet in the solar system. It's the hottest planet in the solar system. But why? 
Isn't Mercury more close to the sun? Well, Venus has a greenhouse effect. Because Venus has a greenhouse effect, it has many carbon dioxide. Its temperature can get up to 464 degrees Celsius or 867 degrees Fahrenheit. So hot, hot, hot. Venus has a serious global warming. In Venus, it rains sulfuric acid. So weird. Venus has another name. Venus can be called the morning star because it can be seen at dawn or at morning. Venus doesn't have a moon. Venus has a radius of 6,052 kilometers. Let's continue to Mars. Ooh, that was a long trip. This is Mars. It's the fourth planet in the solar system. Mars is called the red planet because it's red. Mars has the tallest mountain in the solar system. It's called Olympus Mons. It's three times higher than Mount Everest. Olympus Mons has a height of 21.9 kilometers. So high, Mars has two moons. Do you know their names? Yup, it's Phobos and Deimos. Mars has a temperature of minus 153 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. Wow! Oh yeah, sunsets on Mars are blue. Interesting. Ooh, be careful. This is the asteroid belt. Oops, asteroids are a mixture of rocks and metals that have their own orbits. Their shapes are diverse and irregular. Wow, there are a lot. How can we get past to Jupiter? Oh yeah, that is a meteor. Meteors are asteroids that collide. Meteors do not have a fixed trajectory. But when the meteor approaches the Earth, then it is a meteorite. Interesting. Telepoto, bring me to Jupiter. Thanks. Luckily, Telepoto teleported us to the other side. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the inner planets. Now we are going to explore the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Jupiter is the fifth planet in the solar system. It's the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter has a radius of 71,492 kilometers. So big! Oh yeah! Jupiter is a gas giant, so it doesn't have a surface. The average temperature in Jupiter is minus 110 degrees Celsius of minus 166 degrees Fahrenheit. The red spot on Jupiter is actually a great storm. Jupiter has 95 moons. The four largest moons are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Jupiter has four rings that are hard to see with naked eyes. Jupiter, wow! Let's continue to Saturn. Phew! This is Saturn. It's the second largest planet in the solar system. It's the sixth planet in the solar system. Saturn has beautiful rings. Wow! Saturn has a radius of 58,232 kilometers. Saturn has 146 moons. So many! Saturn has a moon named Titan that is more larger than Mercury. It's the second largest moon in the solar system. Wow! Saturn has an average temperature of minus 288 degrees Fahrenheit. So cold! Let's go to Uranus. Burr, 
It's cold here. Luckily, I have the cold proof bubble. This is Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet in the solar system. Do you know? Uranus is the coldest planet in the solar system. Oh yeah, Uranus has an average temperature of minus 195 degrees Celsius to minus 224 degrees Celsius. So cold. Uranus has a radius of 25,362 kilometers. Wow, Uranus is cold. Uranus has 27 moons. Wow, now let's continue to Neptune. This is Neptune. It's the eighth and last planet in the solar system. Neptune has 14 moons. Neptune and Uranus can be called the twin planets. But why is Uranus more cold? Isn't Neptune more far than the sun? Well, Uranus has a core made out of ice, so cold. Neptune has a radius of 24,764 kilometers. Neptune has a temperature of minus 214 degrees Celsius or minus 353 degrees Fahrenheit. Cold. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Uranus has a vertical ring. Uranus is unique. Uranus rotates vertically. Actually, before, the solar system has nine planets. It has Pluto. Oh yeah. Now I can't explore Pluto because I don't know where is Pluto. Pluto is now not considered a planet because it's smaller than a meteor and a comet. Oh yeah, a comet is called a shooting star. A comet is made out of ice, rock, and dust. When it orbits near the sun, the ice is burned so it has a long tail. The most popular comet in the world is the Halley Comet. It can be seen from 75 to 76 years. Last seen was 1986. Next, 2061. Back to Pluto. Pluto is smaller than a meteor and a comet. Pluto is smaller than the moon too. Pluto has five moons. Pluto has an orbit, but not aligned with the other planets. Pluto has a radius of 1,188 kilometers. So small. A year in Pluto takes more than 200 years. What? Wow. Thank you everyone for exploring the solar system with me. I hope this helps you and adds your knowledge. Bye. See you.